Not to dull Brandon Shine, but we got another champion on the show today. This guy actually won his championship against Brandon back in 2014 when Seattle kicked the living daylight out of Denver, and now we get to chat with him. Please give a warm welcome to former pro running back Robert Turbin. Robert, how are we doing today? I'm doing great. It's uh, it's rainy in Seattle, so I'm working on staying dry as best I can. But other than that. It's all good. It's all good. We love to hear it. Now let's get right into it. It's playoff time, the best time of year. We asked Brandon Marshall this question about defensive players earlier, but now I want to get your take on the other side of the ball. Who are some offensive players that you think will be big difference makers this weekend? Well, I'm looking at Buffalo and I'm looking at Naheem Hines. We saw him take a couple kickoff returns back to the house, but we still haven't seen him have quite the impact on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, as we thought we would when they acquired him from Indianapolis. I think that he's still a key player and a key piece for this football team. And once they figure out how to use him in this passing game, I think he can be really effective. For sure, those kickoff returns were unbelievable. Now, you know this better than anyone. In your opinion, what does it take to win it all? Well, it takes a lot. Uh, you have to have the ball bounce your way, quote unquote, right? We've heard that. You have to get lucky in some ways. My coach used to tell us you, you create your own luck by, by the way, by the work that you put in. Uh, but certainly you have to have a team that's together, that's really connected, um, that just knows each other in and out, right? You, you know where your guy's going to be next to you. you. You can depend on the guy uh, next to you that he's going to do his job. Um, and, you know, really that that's what it takes. Yeah, for sure. Now, in addition to getting yourself a ring, you've also used the game of football to give back with eff efforts such as the Youth Football Academy and Running for You Foundation, which focuses on MS and cerebral palsy. Why do you feel it was important to use your platform in this way? Well, giving back is is huge. When I was coming up as a as a as a kid, we weren't surrounded by a lot of professional athletes. And so I always you know, I, I told myself, man, if I ever got an opportunity to be a professional uh, and play at the highest level, you know, I was gonna, I was gonna give back to my community. MS and cerebral palsy mean a lot to me. Both of my sisters uh, had those, um, you know, diseases. Unfortunately, my oldest passed away when she was 21 of MS. I was about six years old, and my other sister was born with a severe form of cerebral palsy, and so, uh, you know, I pretty much grew up taking care of her, right? Uh, from a young age and so but she was the strongest person in our family uh, she was always the one that uh, was most inspirational for me and so giving back to those causes uh, are a big deal now before I let you go I've got to know your picks for the big game which two teams are making the trip to Arizona do you think oh man um ooh, you know I, I picked Buffalo at the beginning of the season so I'm going to stick with that obviously the loss of Bob Miller is huge but what they've been able to overcome the last few weeks, I think is even more profound. So I think that's gonna lead the way for them. And in the NFC, man, I love San Francisco, uh, but I think Philadelphia is just a little bit better than they are. So I got the Philadelphia, I got Philadelphia coming out of the NFC, and I've got Buffalo coming out of the AFC, and they're gonna be in the big game. What a matchup we got there. All right, Turbo, thank you so much for your time and uh, best of luck with everything you got going on.